All right, guys, so here's a rundown on how I cut lamb loin chops traditionally. So that means I'm going to cut it through the joint with my knife rather than marking it with my knife and then putting it through a bandsaw. Now, first off, I'm just going to remove some of that excess fat off the tail of the loin. Now, these are getting cut for a window display, and being that customers do buy with their eyes, I'm just going to neaten it up and reduce some of that fat. Again, these are going in a display cabinet in a butcher shop, so I'm going to take a face cut off and pop it through the bandsaw. If you were doing this at home or you were doing it on the farm, you wouldn't necessarily take off this face cut as it's not necessary. But as it is going in the window, I need these chops to sit nice and flat so they'll display nicely. Now I'm up to the cutting or the slicing of my chops. So what I'm going to be doing is going between each joint or vertebrae. Now you can alternatively use a chopper instead of a steak knife. Personally, I find you get a really good consistent clean cut by using your steak knife rather than a chopper. Now to ensure that you get a nice clean chop, what I like to do is slice through the vertebrae when I feel that resistance. I'll keep the knife tip down, put my non-knife hand on top, keep my right wrist locked, and then just jerk down once. I'll try and get through it in one clean cut, and what that'll do is it'll stop the knife from folding or bending, and it will be one clean cut all the way through to the bench. Now once all your chops have been cut, it's a matter of just trimming them individually. Now this can cause a bit of controversy as a lot of people do like all the fat left on and then vice versa, some don't like any fat at all left on. One thing I will say if you do like all that fat left on and you don't want to trim it, take off this little corner here. Now that one there has a bit of sinew that runs along the backbone and it's going to be quite tough and chewy. So if you do like that fat and you want to leave it on there for flavour, by all means do so but just take off that corner and it'll just really improve the chop quality and you won't have any tough and chewy bites. Now the great thing about using this technique to cut your chops other than getting a nice thick chop in my opinion is the fact that it can translate into the home. So if you are cutting lambs at home, you're doing a bit of farm butchering or you do a bit of hunting and you're doing some goats, this is something that you can implement at home. You don't have to use a bandsaw or a handsaw to cut your chops individually. You can just simply go through the joints and then trim them as little or as much as you want. Next time you go in and support your local butcher shop, check out their display and see if you can pick the difference on their lamb loin chops. Did they cut them traditionally like so, or did they mark them and put them through the bandsaw? The best thing about supporting your local butcher shops is it supports your community. You can also request them to do custom orders that the big supermarkets can't do for you. So remember to support local and shop local.